It's not for a dip review. Copenhagen Black. Now, um, I like to make a little announcement. Three-day video event has been canceled. Not only because I can't keep up with all the video clips. I was planning on making a video like an hour or two long. So, yeah, that got kind of fucked up. Like, things began to get a little fucky because... I began to, uh, you know, lose some of my clips, and I didn't know where they were, because, like, my video file was a bit messy. That's probably why I was losing a bunch of video clips easily. But, now, I did a massive cleanup on it. So, yeah. I'm going to put me a killer filler of this Copenhagen Black Barreled Aged. Yeah, this is a barreled aged dip. Mm. God dang it, string spits. Hold on. Get a little killer filler. Killer filler. Mm. Holy crap balls, guys. Mm. When you first put you when you first put a freaking pinch in this dip. Man, straight up freaking alcoholic taste. Like, it has an alcoholic taste to it. And they sell this to, like, you have to be 18 and up over here to buy this. And it tastes like freaking bourbon. Mmm. Oh, boy. Well, a big of a pinch I got in right now. I'm surprised I am not freaking drunk. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting a good buzz off of this, yes, but <laughs> this will be a good way to pull a freaking prank. Like, let's say you're underage, right? Put some Copenhagen Black in and walk by a freaking cop. You can prank him within a second because once he smells... You know, that Copenhagen black on you, but hey, son, pull out your ID. You know, like, are you underage drinking? Just pull the can out, be like, no, I'm dipping Copenhagen black. <laughs> Man. Woohoo! I mean, this is freaking good. Mm. Like, many people told me not to. Actually, one of my friends told me not to dip this. And then I have one friend say it was very good. So, yeah, I, I didn't know. Like, I don't know what's wrong with this flavor. <laughs> um, my friend told me a story. Uh, when he got pulled over by a cop one time, he smoked Copenhagen black on him. And immediately he asked him for his ID. And he asked him if he's been drinking. And he said no. And he pulled out and showed him the can of Copenhagen Black. And the cops started laughing his ass off. Because <laughs> he actually thought my friend was drinking. <laughs> but he wasn't. He put in some Copenhagen Black. Woo. Yeah. But that th this is only seasonal. Like, they only sell this... You know, about, I think they only sell it for fall and winter. And uh, after fall and winter goes by, they stop selling it until the next year. And then they, and, and, the, and the next year, you know, on the next fall, they start selling it again. <clears throat> Man. Now. Ratings from 1 to 10. Let's do the smell rating on this bitch because this is extremely freaking strong smelling. Mm. Mm. Smells like 
Oh my god, it smells like cake and bourbon. Like, do you know, do you guys know what cake and bourbon smells like? Yeah, this is what it smells like. Like, when you smell it, it smells like cake at first. And then after, you know, the cake smell, it's like bourbon. <laughs> yeah. Um... Yep, this is bourbon aged. I mean, barrel aged, not bourbon aged. <laughs> uh, warning: This product can ta can cause gum disease and tooth loss, and it can also cause you to keep a freaking redneck. <laughs> Now, the small rating, I give, like the small rating one from 10, I give it a 5. But the flavor, I give a 10. All right? Now, the dip itself, I give it a 10. Because, yeah, a 10 out of 1. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, what I recommend this for you guys, well, it, like, Yes, I would. Would I buy it again? Hell yeah. Like, this was six bucks. You know, over there at the tobacco store, it was six bucks. And that was worth the freaking six bucks I paid. I mean, yeah. Mmm. One, one of the best flavors of dip I've ever tried was this barreled aged Copenhagen Black. So yeah, that's just in that that's just in my opinion. Like, what's the best flavor of dip you've ever tried? Don't say apple. Well, you can say apple if you want to, but yeah, what's the best flavored dip you've ever tried? Like, leave in the comments. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up. And hold on, I want to show you some of the residue on your fingers you get from, you know, pinching this. Now watch. Hold on. Like, I'm trying to get the juices on my finger. Oh, yeah. See that? Yeah, it sticks to your fingers. <laughs> like Copenhagen snuff. Actually, Copenhagen snuff makes more of a mess than this. I mean, if you wanna, if you wanna know what the messiest dip out there is, it's Copenhagen snuff. Because when you dip that, you get a bunch, you get more residue on your finger than Copenhagen black. Now, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Well, I already said that. Kind of thing for me, leave in the comments. And you want to see more, subscribe. And remember, drink too much sweet tea. You're probably going to get drunk off of this Copenhagen Black. Yeah, the barrel aged, but I think the non barrel aged one is, you know, it tastes different than this because I've actually tried Copenhagen Black like a few years back. And, yeah, it's pretty good, but, yeah, I think they should just go with this. Mmm. <laughs> Anyways, guys, bye.